Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday afternoon. I am coming to you from the little room where I put my makeup on and get ready in the morning. Um, I am in my pajamas. Yes, it is Sunday afternoon, and I am in my pajamas, and I just changed into them. Earlier today, I went to get my nails done. I went to have a manicure. By the way, don't they look beautiful? My favorite color, Big Apple Red by Opie. Um, I also had to get my lip waxed and my chin waxed because I don't want to go overseas looking like the bearded lady at the circus. Ugh, it's not very attractive. But I wanted to just do a small little mini review on this wig that I received this week. I purchased it from um, Wigs Closeout at Sister Wigs because they really have a, a, like their price point on their wig closeouts is great. But anyway, this is Avery and Avery is by Tressalore and the color is Deep Sienna. Let's take a closer look at this color. Oh my God, I am so in love with this color. I wish that I had more wigs in this gorgeous color. I mean, it's so beautiful, especially if you're looking to um, winterize the color of your hair and go a shade or two darker. Um, I can say as a woman who was born with very, very, very dark black hair, it doesn't look good as you age and try to dye it black because your hair loses every bit of luster that it had. And the black color um, just has no depth. And I found that it's the same thing with wigs. If you stick to a black wig, there's no depth to the color. And even the color 1B, which is natural black with light brown like strands going through, that can be a little harsh too. It depends on the person. But this deep sienna, I think would be a great, great color for every woman out there. And the other thing that I really, really do like about this wig is the luster. It's not overly shiny. I didn't have to put any um, dry shampoo on it or anything. Just a little bit of a shake and that was it. But now I'm going to um, focus on the challenging aspect to this wig. She is not a lace front. Therefore, I kind of have a hard time and I find that a wig that isn't a lace front is a little bit more challenging because they have a tendency to look a little bit more um, wiggy, so to speak. So I am danger with a scissor. I will admit it. I am like total danger with a scissor. I did cut bangs, like baby bangs into this, and I am liking the way it looks better. I also, like it stuck up weird, like it stuck up weird in the top. So I took my 1999 steamer that I picked up at Walmart and I steamed the top down a little and I have to say I'm really happy with the results. I also steamed the bangs down a little because they were kind of sticking out. It's probably because of my hatchet job on the bangs. I also ended up putting concealer and powder into a make-believe part because I do like a wig with good parting space. Um, it's a little, it's a little bright now, but trust me, I've done this before and it will, the parting will fade so that it will look more natural. Um, she's a regular cap, um, really, really comfortable. I mean, this is a comfortable wig. Despite the issues that I'm having with her, she's very comfortable. She's very, 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 very large head friendly. And the layering is just, I have to say, Tressalore does a great job with layering because the layering just frames the face so nicely. So that's it. Um, I know Avery is a very, very popular wig. I like her. I'm not in love with her. Um, I will say that she's strong AF because 
the other day, um, oh God, was it Wednesday or Thursday? We had a snowstorm here in the Philly area. And when I say it was horrific, I'm not kidding. By the time I left work to go to the parking lot, my car was entirely covered with snow. And I had to, I had to stand in the snow and wipe my car off with my bare hands because A, I didn't have gloves, B, I didn't have a scraper, and C, I had Avery on and she got soaked from, she got like totally soaked from the snow and look, she dried beautifully. So I have to say she's a sturdy all weather wig. She actually is a really good bad weather wig because she holds up to really bad weather. If Avery was a lace front wig, I would probably adore her, but I'm still trying to wrap my head around how I'm going to deal with this hairline. So that's it. My face is red simply because all my makeup is off. Um, I'm spending the rest of the afternoon packing. I have no idea, I swear to God, I have no idea what I'm going to pack. Well, I have an idea. I'm packing for our Thanksgiving dinner. We're going to one of our favorite restaurants on um, Place Dauphine. Um, it's Chez Paul. And um, I'm wearing black velvet pants, a black velvet t-shirt that I got at J. Crew Factory yesterday, which is gorgeous, and black suede kitten heels. So that's one outfit that I know I'm going to be wearing. I'm going to stick to jeans and just like black because it's just easier. So that's it. As I pack, I'm probably going to do um, photographs of flat lays. So if I am up to it and not the lazy bitch that I am, I will do a slideshow and post what I am packing for our trip to Paris. So I will see you later. Have a great day. Have a great afternoon. Oh my God, I forgot. I also have to do a review of a great makeup kit that I purchased from QVC. Have you guys ever heard of Christopher Buckle? Oh my God, like his makeup is so great. So I hope that I finish everything soon and then I will be able to do other reviews. Take care. Thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, and you know, that's it. I got a lot to do. Bye-bye. So that's it. Um, I decided to put some makeup on after I did the review of Avery so that you could see what she looks like when I have even skin. That's it. Bye again.